welcome to a special on the road edition of the part-time preppers as you can see we're leaving virginia hello north carolina uh we're on a little road trip being the hand model who's videotaping right now and i i may say that she is doing a marvelous job navigating thank you we're here you're, you're quite welcome we're here on i-95 and uh, we're heading towards clearwater florida so we're going to be stopping along the way, making some stops. We're going to be looking for some precious metals. Hopefully at some point during this video, you'll see a poolside or a beach unboxing. We'll have to wait and see. So, uh, and Molly, have anything you want to add? Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Okay. Hopefully we'll see you in a bit. Well, we made it to our destination here in beautiful Majora Beach, but six miles south of Clearwater and uh, it's the fourth day we're here and uh, today was cloudy the other days were beautiful sunny etc very hot and today was cloudy overcast with some rain in the morning so we decided to do this uh, today would be our shopping day so the hand model did a little shopping and uh, she let me also do a little bit of shopping and of course uh, this is what I was shopping for and she assisted uh, and we were amazed coming into Clearwater uh, how many pawn shops we saw. We must have saw six, seven, eight pawn shops. Some within a half mile of each other. Uh, and uh, we didn't stop at any of them because uh, where we were at, there was still some more uh, pawn shops and uh, jewelry slash coin shops. And uh, we made three purchases. We went to about five places. Uh, it took uh, an hour and a half or so. One pawn shop had absolutely no silver whatsoever. Uh, and uh, One of the places we stopped, and uh, I'll show a picture of it at the end, uh, it was called Silver Queen. Uh, it was a nice jewelry shop and uh, had like a, I guess kind of like a pawn shop on the one side of the store. I actually saw people bringing in their silverware, uh, Boulevard watch a lady was bringing in to pawn. And uh, so uh, he had a small coin section and I'll show you the two pieces here. Oops, we got, uh, well this was, uh, it was not $10, but we got our first Balboa. Um, $17, now it's a very nice condition. And this might be the pick of the litter for me. Very excited to see this. I'd give it a strong AU to Unk. Um, it was marked 1947, it's, uh, Mark $17 along with um, this coin, which I was kind of unfamiliar with. I mean, we have a ton of coins with the Queenie on, and this is Margaret, Queenie's sister. I didn't take them out of the flips, I just wanted to show you the prices. Um, now, uh, this is a little overpriced, but I told him I would take the two for $16.50, and he agreed. This, uh, marks the anniversary of her wedding or the day of her wedding from 1967 it's a Denmark coin I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with this however we weren't and there is Margaret and her husband again and uh, it's only 80% silver from what I understand and uh, but so we got the two for and there's the Balboa again the two for uh, Balboa's been drinking because he's upside down. But we got the two for um, $16.50 a piece, $33. But in Florida, unlike the state we live in, uh, there is sales tax. So unfortunately, I believe it's 5% sales tax, which I'm not used to paying. But uh, still, I think that was a decent pickup for the price. So that's those two there. And at, at actual a jewelry and coin shop, we stopped. And... Um, Again, these two places were literally four miles from each other. Uh, we got our first, well, let's just say, older prospector, uh, 1986. Uh, she had a lot of uh, vintage, uh, new, numismatic, expensive coins. She didn't have a lot of junk. In fact, very little junk, but she did come out with some rounds when I asked her what she had that was close to spot. Um, these were... Uh, Decent deal, I think, sixteen twenty-five per coin. And there's a prospector. And this I was not real familiar with. I might have seen it once in someone else's video. I can't really remember. 
don't know if I get a good shot. Monix, let me get the bottom. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's from Monix uh, 1982, which is the year the Ham Model I got married there. Let's see if you can see that. It's a map of the United States. You got the Hawaiian Islands there. Uh, one troy ounce, silver eagle. I thought that was kind of a unique coin. If anybody knows much about them, feel free to comment. 1982. And this little drummer boy, round, commemorating the Silver War, I guess, here. Um, there he is. So 16 uh, 25 a piece, of course, with tax. Everybody's going to charge a tax around these type of coins in Florida. And 999. Now, I'm not sure what mint made these. If anybody knows, again, feel free to comment. So that was another one. And the only pawn shop we bought uh, anything in, we did look around at the pawn shops. And Hanmal is sitting here. Did you enjoy going to the pawn shops? Yes, it was very nice. Some of them were really nice, especially the silver the Silver Queen she liked, and also there was some cheap electronics to be had at some of the pawn shops. Yeah. But uh, uh, this one was from an older gentleman. It was a pawn shop looked like it needed some repair, and um, just got two dollars in junk silver here. Uh, Fourteen twenty-five per dollar. He's selling it for now. I got some decent dimes. Some almost BU Roosevelt's. I got one nice. Decent looking dime. Let's see if we can focus that in a Merc. Don't know if it's going to focus out here in this weather. I'll give it one more try. And maybe a little bit. There she blows. That's a nice good looking coin there. That's a mint mark and I can't even see it myself without my glasses. I think it's a D. But okay, so two dollars in the junk and the nice three rounds. So we're very happy. I don't know if we're going to be doing any more shopping because it's supposed to be nice the next couple days and we do like the beach. And let me show you hand model. She's very proud of this purchase that she made doing her shopping. And you want to show that off hand model? Yes. And there it is. And this is you want to explain a, what that is? Well, it's a pet treat launcher. Even there you the go. pet gets a treat. <laughs> so even the pet gets a present when we're on vacation. <laughs> sure he will enjoy it's that. She got it. I won't say the price. She doesn't like to say what she buys things for. But it's it was a, a silly gift. But it's a oh silly well. gift for a silly dog at a darn good price. Much cheaper <laughs> than silver, I may add. I hope it lasts as long. But I hope you enjoyed our vacation, uh, I guess, unveiling. Or un not an unboxing. But uh, you take care until next time. Be good and keep stacking. And last but not least, we're doing a little metal detecting today or tomorrow. So if we hit anything big, any Spanish gold, We'll do a video. Otherwise, take care.